If you like sideloading apps and have faced issues like this, or it says, the device has reached the maximum number of installed apps due to the three app limit. Then in this video, I will show how you can actually bypass the restriction and sideload unlimited apps on iOS 17 and iOS 18. First, we will require SiteStore for this trick to work. Launch any browser and on the search bar, type and search for SiteStore as shown on the video. Click on the first link, which is sitestore.io. Once you are on the website, here you will find this GitHub icon. So click on the GitHub icon. You will be redirected to this GitHub website of Sitestore. Scroll down and click on the releases section. Now, you will find stable, nightly, and alpha builds here. The version which we must download is under nightly build, which is 0.5.9 version only. So click on Assets, to expand the menu, here you will find the Sidestore IPA file, as shown on the video, just click on it, to download the same in your computer. Once done, it's time to set up Sidestore. Go back to the official website of Sidestore. Click on Get Started button, as shown. Here you can find Sidestore for both Mac and Windows computer. In my case, I will use the Windows 1. So as per the instructions for Windows computer. You must download Alt Server. No need of downloading the Sidestore IPA file as we did it earlier from the GitHub. Then also download the Jitterbug pair file as shown here. Next proceed to also download iTunes and iCloud. Once all the required files are downloaded successfully, it's time to sideload Sidestore to our iOS device like iPhone or iPad. I have already made a dedicated video on Sidestore, I will leave a link to the video, so you must watch that video for detailed setup. This is the official website of Sidestore, I will leave the link in the description, this tool requires no jailbreak or computer after initial setup, only requires internet connection. This is my iPhone, and as you can see, Sidestore is getting sideloaded. So once Sidestore is sideloaded in your iOS device after watching that video, make sure to also trust the certificate by navigating to General. And then to VPN and Device Management. On iOS 18, you will be asked to restart the device, so do as instructed. When you launch the game for the first time, make sure to allow permission to all these prompts, as shown. Also, it will ask to import a pairing file. Do not get confused, just watch the same Sidestore setup video to learn how. So locate the pairing file from the Files app and import it to your Sidestore app. The next thing to do is to navigate to the Sidestore settings and now log in with your Apple ID and password. And then just refresh Sidestore. If you are still with me, please subscribe to my channel and support me. If you can recall, we downloaded the nightly build of Sidestore from the GitHub. Now let me show you why this nightly build of Sidestore is different than any other versions. Navigate to the Sidestore settings, and as you can see, it got a switch which says Disable App Limit. But just enabling this option will not work. So keep watching to know the exact steps. Let me show you what happens with the switch disabled. Let's sideload some apps, I have already downloaded some IPA files here. Make sure to enable WireGuard before sideloading. As you can see, apps are getting signed and sideloaded successfully without any issue. The actual issue occurs the moment you try to sideload more than three apps. As you can see, this is the issue being faced, which says the device has reached the maximum number of installed apps using a free developer profile. Let me show you how you can fix this issue. First navigate to the Sidestore settings and enable the app limit switch as shown on the video. Now an IPA file must be sideloaded, which is Sparsebox. Direct link will be in description to the official GitHub website of Sparsebox. The Sparsebox fully works on iOS and iPadOS versions between 17.0 and 18.1 Beta 4. Once you are on the GitHub link, scroll down and click on Nightly link and download the file. If the file being downloaded is in zip file, just navigate to the Files app and just tap on the file to extract it. As you can see, the extracted file is in IPA format. Now just sideload Sparsebox to your iOS device. Launch it, and here, it will also ask for your pairing file. But before you import that same pairing file, make sure to remove Sidestore from the app switcher, as shown. 
Reason being, SideStore and Sparsebox cannot work together. Now just import the same pairing file. And then tap on, Bypass 3 App Limit. Something like this should appear. It will say, Result Restore Successful, indicating that it should work. Now before launching SideStore, make sure to remove Sparsebox from the app switcher as shown on the video. Let's go ahead and sideload this app. As you can see, I have successfully sideloaded 4th app as well, let's sideload again here. As you can see, successfully, I have sideloaded another IPA file, using this trick, you can sideload as many apps, as you want, with no limitation. I hope you like my video, now if you want to sideload apps, without any certificates, watch my next video.